It's not as famous as Notre Dame in Paris, but Notre Dame in Reims is equally impressive. A towering Gothic splendor soaring into the sky. Built in the 11th century, France's kings were crowned here. But in World War I, it was left in ruins by German artillery. The cathedral was eventually rebuilt with painstaking attention to detail. There was, in fact, a discussion one century ago to decide whether we should leave the cathedral as a ruin, uh, remembering all that was, had been done during the war, or if we had to rebuild uh, the cathedral, and it was decided to rebuild it. Like Notre Dame in Paris, the roof here was destroyed. Inside, heat-resistant cement was used in the new version instead of timber. It took 25 years to restore the cathedral. French President Emmanuel Macron wants to rebuild Notre Dame in Paris within just five. President Macron's time frame is probably aimed at completing the first stage, an exterior. More time will be needed, of course, to restore it to its former glory. When this cathedral was nearly destroyed, people were shocked and saddened. The famous French writer Marcel Proust called its shelling a crime against art. The fire in Notre Dame in Paris has produced similar emotions and a desire amongst the French to rebuild. Paris people come to reflect on what happened. Reconstruction will be expensive, but more than a billion dollars has already been raised. The National Heritage Foundation of France has been inundated with calls from people and companies offering donations or skills. One of the great challenges, I think, is also to have all the people able to work on it. You know, uh, all the craftsmen, um, all the the companies who work on this kind of building are very specialized. So perhaps we have to train new people. It's, uh, it will be a new source of, of job. Government leaders in France have yet to decide whether Notre Dame will be faithfully restored or redesigned. Rebuilding the medieval masterpiece is undoubtedly a challenge, but the cathedral in Reims proves that it can be done. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Reims, France.